and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. This is season six, episode six, and the title of this episode is Fear and Loathing. And in this video, we're gonna be talking all about Angela and Michael. But besties, before we get started, do your girl a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads. And let's go ahead and get straight into it. I got my handy dandy phone here. And I'm going to read from my phone and my notes so that I can stay on topic and get out all of the points that I want to talk about in this episode. So it's been two days since Angela's surgery and this chick is still up to her old ways, giving us the viewers TMI. Too much. Angela had me worried when she said that the green drink looked like urine and I was like, that must be what hers look like. And if that's the case, you need to go see a doctor immediately. Stop all of this plastic surgery, gastric sleeving, face lifting, and go to the doctor. You need to go to a gynecologist. If your pee is green like that green drink, because that's not what your urine should look like. Now, Angela says that she feels like crap and without JoJo, it would have made things worse. Things would have been worse for her. Now, Angela is considering facelift surgery. This is another surgery that has added on. I think that she needs to wait until she starts dropping the weight because these doctors are out here trying to make some money, okay? They're out here trying to make some money and refer all of their doctor friends so that they could get on this show, get some TV time and make some money, of course. Now, JoJo says that she feels that things were rushed because initially Angela was supposed to be having gastric surgery only. And then more surgeries were added on when she spoke to her doctor. Angela's worried one more surgery will drive her and Michael apart. So in this scene, JoJo is leaving. She has to go back. She has to get back to her life, I'm sure. But Angela gets very emotional because she says that JoJo has really been a great help to her. She adds that she's hurt by the way that Michael acted when the doctors called him to show her results. Angela is still in LA recovering and using her walker to get around. So she says that she can store her cigarettes in this walker. And what did I tell you? Angela will never quit smoking. She goes to a smoothie bar in another scene and then steps outside to call Michael. Five minutes into the call, Angela starts smoking because she knows that she still hasn't told him about the facelift surgery that she plans to get. Michael starts to fuss and says that you're, you're not supposed to be smoking, but again, Angela does what she wants. She tells him about her facelift consultation. And for the first time, for the first time since we have seen Angela with this man, Michael hangs the phone up on Angela. Now, when I tell you I laugh so good, I laugh so good at him hanging that phone up on her. When he was like, I don't know if he told her he was about to hang up the phone or he said, I gotta go or goodbye or something he said to her. And she was like, you better not hang that phone up. And he did it anyway. But then he picked that phone right back up real quick when she called him back. Michael says that they are married and should make decisions together. But Michael, sweetie, you have never had any say. And just because you're married, that won't change with Angela. He's like, this time I'm putting my foot down. No more surgeries. Now... I laughed, like I said, because I was like, okay, Michael, you putting your foot down way in Nigeria. Ain't nothing you can do. She in Beverly Hills getting all these surgeries and it's nothing you could do to stop her from getting on that table. Michael looked like a little kid pouting and it had me so weak. Now, Angela said that she's getting the surgery whether he likes it or not. So her plastic surgeon refers her to another surgeon for this facelift procedure. And when the surgeon I'm moving on to another scene. When the surgeon enters in, Angela starts flirting with him. Angela wants the surgeon to FaceTime with Michael to explain. And Michael says that he's worried that the face won't look the same. That is his worry. So when Michael said, how much is all of this going to cost? I was no more good. Like you tell me how someone with no job needs to know all of this information. 
Now, if you want to know so that you can pay for it or you could go in half, then okay. But if not, then it's none of your business. It is none of your business. Angela starts reading Michael his rights when he gets hyped on the price being about $25,000. Angela is like, listen, I fly to Nigeria back and forth and pay for everything. So the one time I want to do something for myself, it's a problem. Michael says that it's a lot of money and that can go to the process of them having a child. And Michael might as well let it go. He needs to let, I don't know why he's still holding on to this fat. I don't care what Angela tells him. She is not giving him a child. I don't know why he's convinced at that, but that's just not going to happen. He might as well go ahead and hang that up. All them grandkids that she taking care of, them is his kids. But them having a baby and her carrying that baby or toting the baby like she likes to say, that's not going to happen, Michael. I don't know why Michael is so convinced that this is going to happen. So Angela says, I'm getting the surgery and that's the end of this conversation. So Michael says, okay, no problem. Exactly how he does it. He's like, okay, no problem. And so she was like, but you're mad. And he was like, no, okay, no problem. Michael had me hollering in this episode when he hit Angela with the, I wish you all the best. When he said, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Michael is a hot mess. Like he really showing out on this, this scene, this season, Michael is really showing out. He said, I wish you all the best. You know, a woman to hit, normally a woman would hit a man with that. When she done with him and don't want to fool with him or she's mad at him, she's like, I wish you all the best. Or when somebody call you by your first name, you know they mad. And when he said, I wish you all the best, I, like I said, I was no more good. Angela says that she's taking care of Michael very well financially, food, fixing cars. And not to mention even the gifts that she was buying his mama and aunt when she would go there, you know, because I guess it's tradition. You have to present them with a gift. Like she was doing all of this stuff and definitely going back and forth to Nigeria, paying for everything. And, you know, I know him not having a job is because she wants to have control and she doesn't want him working. But still, at the end of the day, she's taking care of him. This is what she says. She's taking care of him. So I just feel like Michael, it really doesn't have a place or any business wanting to know how much money she's divvying out or questioning really what she's doing, to be honest. I don't feel like he has a right because it's not like he's paying for it or going half in on it. And it's like, she's taking care of him. Now, when Angela says she's getting the facelift and pull back her own face to show you how it would look if she got one, she actually looked really great. I mean, she looked good. Pulling her, her face, like her skin kind of up. Not the way the doctor was doing it. When he did it, he wasn't doing it right. He supposed to be the doctor. But when she took her hands and pulled it back, I was like, wow. Definitely, I mean, this facelift would benefit her. Now, in her confessionals, when she has the blue on with the tank top underneath or that blue top on, I'm assuming that she's already had her gastric sleeve surgery. I'm assuming that she's already had the facelift. That's if she gets it, but I'm assuming she's already had that. So in that case, that didn't really, that still didn't look good because she's lost. She's probably still losing weight. So I think she should have waited until after she dropped all that weight and then went and got that facelift because she still looks like she has, she calls it a gobble. She still looks like she has that. And I don't know. I Like I said, I feel like she should have waited, but She's in LA, so she's probably trying to get all of these surgeries out of the way. But I'm very curious to know your thoughts on Michael and Angela in this episode of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. This is season six, episode six. Again, the title of this episode was Fear and Loathing. Comment down below your thoughts. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads. Again, I look forward to talking to all of my wonderful besties in that comment section down below. I hope that you are having a great week, that you had a wonderful holiday as well. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.